Okay, uh, today we're going to do uh, a, a, a few more examples of inverse trig functions because they're a little tricky. And if I do uh, if I do all the uh, examples of regular derivatives, I got to treat these ones with equal. I don't know what, but <laughs> let's just let's just get into them. So, all right, here we go. Y equals inverse secant of 2s plus 1. Okay, um, this implies. Um, this implies that secant y is equal to 2s plus 1, right? So, let's see here. If we want to do some damage here, we just, we, we're going to want to take the derivatives of both sides. And looks like we're going with respect to s here. So, um, derivative of secant, that's just secant tangent. And I got to use implicit differentiation, and S is the guy we're looking for. And the derivative of this right here, that's just two. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide both sides by okay, and it looks like this is going to give me dy ds. So I'm just going to cross this out so there's no confusion. And I'm going to put a little box around it because there's our answer. Really, that is our answer. But we got to do some we got to do some maneuvers to it uh, to get it to where we want it. So let's let's uh, let's kind of go over what we're going to do. Okay, let's uh, let's say we got a triangle here. Um, we'll draw a right triangle right here to fit. Basically, we need our we need our answer in terms of s, not y. Okay, so. Let's just say this angle is y. Well, originally, we found out that by the original problem, um, y equals inverse secant. That basically told us that secant of y was equal to 2s plus 1, right? You know, I mean, we use that to solve the problem. So if that's true, then cosine of y is equal to 1 over 2s plus 1, right? Okay, so cosine of y, that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we go over here, that'll be 1 over 2s plus 1. And it's not just 2s plus 1, it's the absolute value. Okay, remember, this is a length right here. Okay, so the, the length has to be positive. Um, so if we have a variable tied up in there, we need to make sure we, we let everybody know that, you know, this is, this is going to be a positive um, number. So let's use our Pythagorean theorem. We can find out the rest of the uh, sides. So that's uh, 1 plus b squared equals plus 1 squared minus 1. So b equals this guy right here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting that, that on the page right there. And, uh, this is kind of put a little divider right there. Okay, so basically we know what secant of y is, um, and then tangent of y, that's just going to be opposite over adjacent. Okay, so let's just take this answer and we're going to bring it down here. Okay. And well, 2 is still up there, and then we got what secant of y secant of y is just equal to 2s plus 1, but it's actually um, the, the inverse of cosine over here. So let's just go ahead and write that down. And then if we go over here, tangent of y, that's just opposite over adjacent, which is just plain square root 2s plus 1 squared minus 1. Okay, uh, now this part is going to be your final answer. Okay? So let's see if we need to go through here again. Okay, we started off with uh, y equals inverse secant of 2s plus 1, and we just know from trigonometry that that translates to, uh, I keep messing it up, that, that translated to secant of y equals 2s plus 1. Okay? And then we just took the derivative of this. When we did that, we ended up with this guy right here. Okay? We just used our different differentiation rules and implicit differentiation, and we came up came up with this guy. 
Um, the only problem was it was the derivative of y with respect to s, and we have y's in our answer. Okay, so we basically, we just, you know, I mean, when in doubt, draw a triangle. I mean, it's like any time in trigonometry, a triangle will solve every problem you ever need to know. So, yeah, just go ahead and draw the triangle. And then, you know, we were already given some information, and we just used identities after that, okay? So, um, I hope that's a, that's a good one. And I, I'm going to put a couple more on here, uh, probably later this week or something like that. But, hey, you know, if you need any more help with these, feel free. And, uh, you know, I'll get some more posted and uploaded. Thanks for watching.